I've been doing a lot of executive coaching lately and I've noticed a trend with some of my clients that when one of their employees is not performing up to standard, they become overly aggressive instead of appropriately assertive. Let me explain. So let's say Bob, and I always pick on Bob. Wherever you are, Bob, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're just the target of my wrath. Uh, so let's say Bob has one of these problems. He's showing up late for meetings or missing project deadlines or not returning emails to customers in a timely manner, and that is unacceptable. So an email comes in from one of your customers that says Bob is not returning my emails, and you, <laughs> you blow a gasket and you shoot off an email or you leave them a voicemail that says, Bob, you know in this company that customer service is one of our major focuses. Uh, you must return emails in a timely manner. We have set a standard of 24 hours at the maximum. I've heard from customers, you're not doing that. You need to get on top of this right now or there's gonna be a problem. Bob's not feeling so good. What happens when someone gets an email like that or a, dis a voicemail or a discussion is they get defensive. You know, they're going to fight back, you know, Bob, you're doing this. No, I'm not. You know, the customer says this. Well, that customer's crazy, you know, whatever it might be. It's, it's going to be you versus them. So let me give you a different. So here's what it would sound like. And let's just say this is an email. Bob, I'm confused and I need your help. You've always been one of the people that has responded to customers the fastest. You've been a great example of our core value of customer focus. However, recently, I've gotten emails from a couple of customers that have said it's taking you days, sometimes a week to get back to them. And that seems odd to me because that's not the way you normally operate. Could you help me understand what's been keeping you from getting back to customers in a timely manner because we both know customers are the ones that pay all the bills around here. Let me know how I can help you. Now, some of you are saying that sounds wimpy and soft, but actually, I'm making just as strong a point, but instead of being a, a blaming and aggressive, I'm saying, help me to help you. This isn't the way you normally act or behave. This isn't what we've agreed to. Uh, and I need to understand why you're not doing it and what we can do to make it better. And once you initiate it that way, you've opened up the door for the person to be vulnerable uh, or uh, speak with candor, uh, maybe tell you about a problem or an issue you didn't know about before you fly off on the handle and, and blame them. There might be some extenuating circumstances that are causing them to get behind in answering their emails and get in touch with customers that you do need to fix together. So the key idea here is before you run somebody over like a speed bump, uh, stop ask a few questions, uh, ask them to help you to understand, turn it back into instead of you're wrong to I'm confused. And the goal here is to get the other person to fix the problem themselves, apologize to you and make it better rather than you threatening them and forcing them to change.